November 28, 2014. And package today showed up from Li Xiaolong Minzi, Shenzhen, Longhua, Guangdong, China. Alright, so what is this that we're looking at here? Well, we ordered this uh, key or Q wireless charging pad and uh, a receiver for Apple iPad 4, iPad Mini, uh, Mini 2. And it was uh, roughly around 36 US dollars. It was supposed to get here between Tuesday, December 9th, and Tuesday, 23rd. So it's here. And it's supposed to wirelessly charge your iPad. So let's get this thing open and check it out. So we got our box open, and not too many people know about this, including myself. So this is the input, 5 volt, uh, and looks about correct for the iPad. And it comes with a stand, and it comes with a pad that goes on the back. They also have a smartphone charging cord. It's uh, called a QI, or the Q, or the key, or something like that. And it's gonna, we're going to get this thing, this wireless charger here opened and, and check it out and we'll see if it works. Right, so we have uh, our package open and what does it come with? Well, there's a operation manual, there is what it appears to be a USB 2 or 3 um, cable, then we've got what appears to be an American port with a USB adapter, and this is the Q or the key. Uh, the, this is what goes into the back of the iPad. And this is what plugs into your uh, your iPad port there, and this is what it sits on. So this is the actual charging stand that you place the iPad on. Um, and the thought is with this particular device is if you can see in there, that's the other end of the the USB cable that plugs into there. So you've got this end that goes into the back of this stand. This end goes into your charger, which plugs into the wall. And this end sits on the back of your iPad and plugs into um, your lightning cable port. And the thought is that when you set your iPad, no matter what case it's on, it responds to the stand. And then it starts charging your iPad. So let's read the instructions, or let me read the instructions, and we'll install it in the back of the iPad and see if it works. So we are back looking at the instructions, and surprisingly it's all in uh, English. And uh, what I had to do is see which model I had, it's the A6, which is the stand here. Uh, doesn't look like any of the other ones, so I'm assuming it's the A6, or it looks just like the A6. Um, and on this thing it has silicon, which is for your iPad to rest on. And there are some, a couple warning labels that you probably should be aware of. Uh, of course, this is from China. I hadn't seen anything like this in the U.S. yet. Uh, probably, maybe you'll see it in the Apple Store at some point. But if it appears in the Apple Store, I'm sure it'll go for like uh, $90 versus what I paid for something like this. Uh, uh, some some warning, it's just saying, you know, don't put it in water, don't leave it in the sunlight, um, don't put anything between it and the base, because it could, you know, could catch on fire if you're using a pacemaker, um, things of that nature, uh, mainly just be careful of electric shock and overheating and stuff like that. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my iPad apart, and we're going to connect this to the back, and with the iPad, um, 3, 4, or the uh, iPad Air, the larger screen, the main difference between um, this particular device and the other ones is this is a longer cable. So if, you've, if you're getting a mini, it's going to have a shorter cable. Because the goal is to put this um, center on the device. Center on the device. So when you put it on here, it's going to be lined up correctly. So let me go ahead and do that and we'll come back and see if it works. So that looks correct and then I was checking the ends out here on the the cables to make sure that um, they're the same and they do appear to be the same. Now what you're what you do uh, it's not clear in the instructions but 
seeing that this is a metal part and it's got a sticky tape, uh, I believe you're supposed to peel that off. And then this part here goes in, right into there. So let me go ahead and get that in there. Um, one thing I noticed or thinking about is it's going to be hard to pull this out if I've got any other adapters that I want to put in there for whatever reason. Like say I'm jamming on guitar or something, I'll have an adapter. So it just it just goes right in there, just like that. And um, it's going to stick right here, but we're going to test it out here first. Um, because because of the way that this is lined up, it's it's sort of in the center right where the apple is. But I noticed that that's going to put it right about here versus here. So I just want to see out, out the gate uh, if that's going to work or not. And uh, you can see that I've got the red light in there, which means the power is on. So I'm just going to take this uh, iPad and I'm just going to put it right there in the back and see if I can get it uh, lined up with line up with that. To see if we can get any kind of charging indicator. And whoa, look at that. The light changed to blue and the little charger came on and you can see that um, it's got the little the little charging indicator up there so let me take this uh, iPad off of here and the charging indicator went away and now I'm going to take it and set it on there and see if we can get that charging yeah, now it's saying that it's charging, so it appears that it works. Uh, so let me stick that on there and get it in the case, and we'll check check it out that way. Okay, so I've got this stuck on here, and before I put my case on, I just wanted to see that I left a little bit of slack in the line, so that I could pull this out if need be without damaging this this uh, ribbon ribbon cable is what they call it. Um, so let me get the case on there. Okay, we're back. Um, I did confirm that the the, the the Q charging or key charging from China did work with the iPad 4. Uh, one problem I had is uh, it doesn't like all the thickness of my Zugu case. As you can see, there's many levels of thickness. So it didn't really like that. And it wasn't, it wasn't actually charging when I had it on the inside. But when I had it on the outside here, it was charging. But then that kind of defeats the, the protective purpose of it. So um, maybe there's a way to have it on there. But but I really didn't get it for that purpose anyway. So I more or less got it for uh, use with the, the kids' iPad mini. So, and our uh, key or Q, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to put it on here and see if it works with the, uh, the, life, the life proof case. So there it turned blue and it is showing a charge so it does work with uh, a life proof case more so than it would work with uh, my, my Zugu or any he heavy leather case right out the gate so um, I'm gonna say that yeah it works uh, and uh, we're gonna I'm gonna see how it, it goes with uh, maybe charging to see if it gets hot um, to see if it gets hot on the back at all if anything's gonna happen with the heat, if the, if the heat gets too much for it, when you take it off, it turns to red. So there's a little light indicator. One last thing on this uh, Q here, I've, I've got it connected here uh, wirelessly to the uh, stand, and uh, I've just been like having Netflix, Netflix uh, blasting on it, and um, it uh, it's been holding its charge while Netflix has been on, and. Uh, I'll, wanted to see also if, if it would get hot in the back and it doesn't appear like it's getting hot in the back um, it appears like it's working just fine just like it's supposed to uh, so uh, there you have it but um, what I person I got this from the seller was from Lily Sagu uh, she's got really good positive feedback so if this is something that uh, you're interested in uh, go for it I hadn't heard or seen or or anything about about this because it's straight out of China and um, so use it at your own risk um, but I, I wanted to check it out to see if it would work and it seems like it's working and if there's any updates I'll post it in my comments thanks for watching yeah.